Hello friends, I am Prithiraj Solanki and today we will be studying stack using linked list. In this program, we will implement a stack data structure by linked list. So first of all, we will include the main two library files stdr.h and conio.h. After that, we have declared a structure which is named linked list, which is having two structure variable data and star next, which is a pointer. The data is having data type integer which will contain the data on the stack and the pointer next is again the data type struct link underscore list. We will again make a structure of two variables data and pointer. So this will be a recursing line. After this declaration of the structure, we have used type def struct link underscore list node. Basically this will provide node as a data type which is struct link underscore list so we don't have to write struct link underscore list again and again in the program instead of that we will be writing node only the ninth line we are we have written node star top which will basically declare a pointer variable named top with data type node which is equal to link list structure so top will be having two variables data and pointer next here we have only given the name to top and it is declared globally because it is not in a, um, any block or main function. So the top variable is a global variable. Now moving on the main function. Main function first of all we have declared a ch integer which will be used to provide user a menu for push pop and display function. Then clr scr will clear the screen. Now top is equal to node star malloc size of node basically this line will allocate the memory dynamically to the top firstly we have declared top variable and now we are allocating memory dynamically to it size of node this will calculate the size of this structure and malloc will allocate memory to malloc will allocate this memory to the top and node star is a typecast to make this output a pointer now after that we will get top of arrow is equal arrow next is equal to null so this pointer will point to null this execution will give us this thing which is in the which is top and top is having no data in the data section and this pointer of top is pointing to null now we will provide an infinite loop with while 1 and the menu which is having 4 cases push pop display and exit we have given argument in display only push and pop are not having any argument the reason behind that will be seen when we study the display function here we can include default case but uh, we have not included it here and uh, now moving on the push function First of all we have we are having this top already in push function we will again use no star list this will again create a pointer variable and by list is equal to node star malloc size of node we will again allocate memory to list this is the same process as we have done declaring the top and after this we will declare list list will not be having any data or its pointer is pointing at nothing right now after this line at 34th line we will give user the message to enter the data and in 35th line we will scan the data and put it in the list arrow data and so basically this data will be put here in the variable of list which is named data and after that the pointer of list will point to the top so this will be a link the pointer of list is pointing to the top and the data of list is stored here now after that top is equal to list will make the list new top as we can see in stack whenever we push an object the latest object pushed in the stack becomes top because we only access the top element of the stack so now the after execution of this line the list will become a new top and after that we are moving on the pop function in the pop function firstly we have to check whether the stack is empty or not here we have used this condition top of arrow does not equal to null why we have used this condition 
we have used this condition because initially we have given the next pointer of top null so if the next pointer of top element is pointing to null the stack is empty because there are no any push executions still here so if the next pointer of top is not pointing to null that means the stack is not empty and user can pop the top element of the stack so if this condition is true this will execute the printf pop element is percentage d the top of data so this will pop the this will display the data stored in the top data portion of top and then the new top will be the next basically in this thing when this is this line the this lines in yellow box are executed the data portion of top is printed on the console and then the next portion of the top will point to the new top so will be in the new top and then pointer will be pointing to the previous element of the stack so after this line's execution the new top will be 20 and now if user again pops the element 20 will be displayed and next will be pointing to 10 again the pop function will be executed and 10 will be displayed and this will be pointing to the top now we are having no data in the data portion and next is pointing to null so this condition is not true and uh, this will execution will go to the else block and print the stack is empty and give the user the message so user cannot pop any more elements now moving on the display function in this display function we have given a argument and in argument we have declared a list structure why we have done this because we can we would have used the top to access the display but if the but the top is a global variable if we have used this global variable here we can see while the execution of the function this list is pointing to the next so this list will be going back and back and back so if we have used top here top will be gone back to here after the execution of display function and now if user wants to push a push an element he will be pushing the element here so the stack is scattered now so if we don't want that to happen we have used an argument and in argument we have given the top element which is here you can see we have given top element as an argument and this will be the list and so list will be here and at execution the data will be displayed and pointer will pointer will point to the last element and again it will be displayed pointer will be used again displayed and pointer will be used and which will be executed till next is not equal to null here next is equal to null so execution will be returned to again to the main function so this was the display function and push and pop function of stack using the linked list i hope you have understood the programming and the video is good for understanding leave your comments about the video in the comment box below and give any suggestion if you want to give via email